The province of East Jersey, along with the province of West Jersey, between 1674 and 1702 in accordance with the Quintapartite deed were two distinct political divisions of the province of New Jersey, which became the U.S. state of New Jersey. The two provinces were amalgamated in 1702. East Jersey's capital was located at Perth Amboy. Determination of an exact location for a border between West Jersey and East Jersey was often a matter of dispute. The area comprising East Jersey had been part of New Netherland. Early settlement including today's Bergen and Hudson counties by the Dutch included Pavonia 1633, Vriesendale 1640, and Actor Call 1642. These settlements were compromised in Kieft's War 1643 to 1645 and the Peach Tree War 1655 to 1660. Settlers again returned to the western shores of the Hudson River in the 1660 formation of Bergen, New Netherland, which would become the first permanent European settlement in the territory of the modern state of New Jersey. During the Second Anglo-Dutch War, on August 27, 1664, New Amsterdam surrendered to English forces. Between 1664 and 1674, most settlement was from other parts of the Americas, especially New England, Long Island, and the West Indies. Elizabethtown and Newark in particular had a strong Puritan character. South of the Raritan River the Monmouth Tract was developed primarily by Quakers from Long Island. In 1675, East Jersey was partitioned into four counties for administrative purposes, Bergen County, Essex County, Middlesex County, and Monmouth County. There were seven established towns, Shrewsbury, Middleton, Piscataway, Woodbridge, Elizabethtown, Newark, and Bergen. In a survey taken in 1684 the population was estimated to be 3,500 individuals in about 700 families, African slaves were not included. Although a number of the East Jersey proprietors in England were Quakers and the governor through most of the 1680s was the leading Quaker Robert Barclay, the Quaker influence on government was not significant. Even the immigration instigated by Barclay was oriented toward promoting Scottish influence more than Quaker influence. In 1682 Barclay and the other Scottish proprietors began the development of Perth Amboy as the capital of the province. Frequent disputes between the residents and the mostly absentee proprietors over land ownership and quitrents plagued the province until its surrender to Queen Anne's government in 1702. Topic Constitution C. History of the New Jersey State Constitution Hashtag East Jersey Constitution Topic Governors of East Jersey 1674-1702 See also, Lords Proprietor 1665-1703 and Governors under the Proprietors 1665-1674 Topic See also Concession and Agreement List of Colonial Governors of New Jersey Scottish Colonization of the Americas Topic References Topic Other Sources Winfield, Charles H. History of the County of Hudson, New Jersey, New York, Kennard and Hay Printing Company, 1874, Harvey, Cornelius B., ed. Genealogical History of Hudson and Bergen Counties, New Jersey, New York, The New Jersey Genealogical Publishing Co., 1900, John Fisk. The Dutch and Quaker Colonies of America. Volume. I. New York, Houghton, Mifflin and Company, 1903, Loverough, Joan D. Hudson County, The Left Bank, Sun Valley. CA American Historical Press 1999 Topic external links where was the West Jersey East Jersey line Bergen Township past and present Jersey City's colonial background overview of Hudson County heritage Bergen County Historic Society colonial charters grants and related documents at New Jersey The Avalon Project documents in law history and diplomacy Lillian Goldman Law Library Yale Law School retrieved the 14th of March 2010 this website has links to the following documents. 1664 The Duke of York's release to John Ford Berkeley, and Sir George Carteret, 24 June. 1664 The concession and agreement of the Lords Proprietors of the Province of Newcaesaria, or New Jersey, to and with all and every the adventurers and all such as shall settle or plant there. 1672 A declaration of the true intent and meaning of us the Lord's proprietors, an explanation of their concessions made to the adventurers and planters of New Caesarea or New Jersey. 1674 His Royal Highness's grant to the Lord's proprietors, Sir George Carteret, 29 July. 1676 The Charter or Fundamental Laws, of West New Jersey, agreed upon. 1676 Quintapartite deed of revision, between E and W. Jersey, July 1st 
1680 Duke of York's second grant to William Penn, Gon Lowry, Nicholas Lucas, John Eldridge, Edmund Warner, and Edward Billing, for the soil and government of West New Jersey August 6, 1681 Province of West New Jersey, in America, the 25th of the ninth month called November 1682 Duke of York's confirmation to the 24 proprietors, the 14th of March 1683 The Fundamental Constitutions for the Province of East New Jersey in America 1683 The King's Letter Recognizing the Proprietor's Right to the Soil and Government 1702 Surrender from the Proprietors of East and West New Jersey, of their pretended right of government to Her Majesty 1709 The Queen's Acceptance of the Surrender of Government, April 17 1712 Charles II's grant of New England to the Duke of York, 1676 exemplified by Queen Anne 1776 Constitution of New Jersey The Journal of the Procedure of the Governor and Council of the Province of East New Jersey, from and after the first day of December Anno DMNI 1682